<clears throat> I kept quiet this long. I gotta say so. The question from Car Sharks is How many people think that Rose could have made room for Jack on that door in the water? Everybody for years kept saying Jack could. Jack and Rose both could have been on that door. Yes, they've could have, but that's not the point of the goddamn movie. And second of all, did everyone forget the scene where he sees the door, he runs to the door, he puts Rose on that door, and then he tried to get on that door with with him on it too? And it knocked both of them off the door because the weight was too much for the door to handle on the water. Did anybody not see that part? Go back, watch Titanic, rewind to that part, or fast forward to that part, and you see what I'm saying. Yes, there was room for him on there. Yes, she could have made room on there. But, that wouldn't have been the point of the movie. And second of all, he did try to get on that door with Rose. And it took them both out. Just because it was a split second, you guys just don't remember. What the fuck? Anywho, going back to Court Sharks. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I can't see I know I've talked about this briefly time to time but I never told you the full story of when I quit YouTube got a new name got stalked really badly the whole shebang shebang and I'm going to tell you my story and I want to thank Roman Atwood for this because if it wasn't for him telling his horrific story then I would think that what happened to me on YouTube and stick cam and other places if you don't know what stick cam is it's kind of like twitch but with more camera space for people to put their face on with the host and really bad things happened on that site, which I will get to and talk about. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but bear with me. Watch the whole thing. Don't. Hopefully I don't bore you. I hope it's interesting because you need to know this kind of stuff because this kind of stuff happens on YouTube. Reason why I live the private life that I do and have problems trusting people online. And yeah, I can say I got catfished a few times here and there. But I knew it at the time. Because I know how to catch catfish. Before the show Catfish even came on MTV. The reason why I'm thinking Roman Atwood is because he made my situation not seem as bad as his situation. He didn't go into great detail on his situation. He said he'll do that at a later time. Which is nice of him. But he got to the point where he had to leave YouTube for a year. Now, I didn't leave for that long on YouTube. I left for like a couple months and then I came back. Meaning, I still used my old account, I just didn't post. Because of my haters. Right now, I'm having trouble with getting... You know how in the corner you get that bell for no vacations? Well, you also would get them for when somebody replied to your comment or someone replied to your video that you uploaded well I haven't been getting getting any notification bells or any notifications for that matter of people commenting on my videos so I have to once in a blue moon go to my comment section in the settings and check them out and then lately they've been giving me seven to eight years ago's comments and then saying that I never replied to them 
and then I find out later I have. So it's kind of weird. Well, I don't understand why it's doing that. Also, it's not telling me if I have a reply from, like, I would comment on someone else's video and people can reply underneath and nobody, I'm not getting notifications of anybody doing that and I'm not, and when I reply to somebody else on YouTube, it's, they're not replying, it's not showing me that they're replying back. How, how, is there a setting that I go to for that, like the comments for your video, like the comments for my videos, or do you know what's going on with that? If you know anything, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get started with this video. The, and the reason why I have my name across my face. But what happened to me is mild to what happened to Roman Atwood. If you want to know what happened to Adam to Roman Atwood, you can go to the Learning and News um, playlist or you can go to my Ycats YouTubers Facebook group page or I'll try and put it as an annotation to the end of this video if I remember to or can or can find it because we, we all know I'm not good at editing and putting out videos. Who knows when this video will come out but what happened was in 2020 he had to take a year off no explanations, no nothing. Even when he was uploading videos, this stuff was happening. They even, and I'm thinking it's his mom's funeral that he's talking about. I'm not very sure, but it got, but that, I say, is drawing the line going too far when you bomb threat a funeral. That is pretty fucking messed up. It means there's something wrong with your brain. He didn't say what happened to the guys yet. Hopefully he'll let us know. But how dare they put kids in danger. Especially when it's below zero degrees outside with snow on the ground. And you're turning off their heater, their lights, their electricity. You gone to the point where you have fucked up, like fucked with their cars to put them in danger so they crash you they have spy cams all over their property and you hacked into them you changed their credit cards names their addresses you've gone so far as canceling insurance and some of their stuff that's going way too far for stockish this is why all YouTubers should do this is why you shouldn't give out your last name for one. Say the town that you live in and show your, the outside of your house or give out your address or phone number. <laughs> because things like this happen. People, fans would show up to their house thinking Oh, he's a famous YouTuber. It's okay. I'll just show up to his house, give him a present or two, or I'll just show up to his house so I can get a picture with him and film his property and everything. Say, look where I'm at. Da -da 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 -da. And get his autograph and picture with him. When really, you're being cr a creepy fan right then and there. If you show up at the place that they live, to get that kind of information then you need serious help because that's stockish that's creepy and that's wrong if you see them at the store or something like that or at a restaurant that's okay you can say hello you can bother them they don't mind unless you know they ask you not to but I just think it's rude to just show up at their house thinking you're going to get in their YouTube video or you're going to get it recognized or you're going to get, you know, pretty much five star hotel there when really they're going to go, oh, that person's being creepy. I'm calling the police. And especially if you know their address or you know where they live, don't give it out. That's why. 
I don't give out my address, I don't give out my last name, I don't give out my phone number, I don't even tell you where uh, the town I live in. I can tell you the state I live in, and I can tell you people keep thinking I live somewhere uh, in a different town, the more popular town, which I don't, I live in. And once I say the college's name, then they're all like, oh. <laughs> where I work. Then they're like, oh, then they know exactly. And I'm the only one with my last name in the phone book. It's either me or my middle brother. And that's putting us, again, in danger. So I'm not going to do that. Now, if there was tons of people with my last name, maybe. But I still would. Just, even if I got popular on YouTube, which I did, back in the day before more important people got popular I got popular for somebody to hate and bully somebody like Nikocado Avocado who gets made fun of for being fat all the time he's always lying 24-7 he lies 24-7 never tells the truth and then when he does tell the truth we never know if he's telling the truth we always think he's lying because he always lies and he calls it acting and just making a skit and yeah but when you use when you catfish us in the title meaning oh what's that word clickbait when you clickbait us in the title and always say you're getting married every single fucking day we kind of know that you're fucking lying and that it's actually just you trying to come up with the title and then you bitch and moan about your weight and you bitch and moan about, you know, that's not what this video is about. But I can see why you get hate. And I had to learn what not to do or say in a video because that would get me hate. Like, don't sing in a video when you can't sing. And even if you tell people, I know I can't sing, I'm just doing it for fun. And you still criticize me for it. It makes me not want to do it. It doesn't even want to make me want to get better. Or if I dance the way I like dancing in a video, and I'm, and I'm not going to be like um, Justin, who says, Hey, honey, is Justin here? That one, Tammy, if you know Trailer Trash Tammy, you know who Justin is. He goes on TikTok all the time, and he's a fat fuck, too. And he tucks in his shirts, which I think fat people should never tuck in their shirt. Because we just don't look, us fat people just don't look good with our shirts tucked in. It shows that, hey, look at me, I'm fat, 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 and you can see all my rolls. But if you untuck your shirt, you can be, and you weigh your shirt a little bit over, you know, or too big, then nobody will see that. How fat you really are. Anyways... He dances so hardcore, people love it, and they don't, and he don't care if he gets hate, hate comments for it or anything, and he doesn't brush his hair, and he's about to go bald, he doesn't care, he doesn't care that there's haters out there dissing him and making fun of him for it, but I didn't care either, I was like, you know what? You're gonna get haters. Nobody's perfect. You're gonna get haters. Do what you want. I like dancing. I'm gonna dance. Until it got to the point where... Not only did they make fun of me, but you had an ex-friend doing the same thing. And not encouraging you. And say, I would never do that on a YouTube video. Well, guess what? You're not me. And you shouldn't encourage me instead of just making fun of me. You're not a good friend when you do that. Reason why you're an ex-friend. For reasons I'm not going to talk about. And I've been living a half... Ha I will admit it. I'm living a happier life without him in it. Because all he did was put me down, put me down, put me down. And make me not want to do certain videos. But anyways. We're not going to talk about that. 
And so me dan so it me dancing like that and when people and I kept reading hate comments, I couldn't it, it put me down. It upset me. It made me so depressed that I just didn't want to live in this world anymore. And I always thought about maybe suicide. I was to the point of killing myself until my ex frame came into my life and saved me. This was before he got all hateful towards me. Once he found out everyone else was hating on me, he he followed the train, the popular train, instead of doing what he wanted to do. And only behind closed doors would he, you know, be nice to me and talk to me. And, but when other people were around, he would be a show off and say, "Well, you're hating on it too, so me too." But anyways, he got me to not do suicide. So I thank him for that. But it, I didn't get like bomb threats, people in danger. Yes, people were putting my nephew in danger by, once they found out my address, they were sharing it all over the internet and giving it out to everybody. And I even one time told my, told my space when somebody pretended to be my ex-boyfriend and me, he, they would give out. It took my ex-friend to find out who the culprits were, and that's when it got me to figure out who to trust and who not to trust and have trust issues because I let them into my personal life and they fucked it up. And now I don't do that until I absolutely know for sure by giving them little testers here and there and easing them in slowly one day at a time. And... Basically, I told MySpace, I said, if you do not delete these fake accounts, then you're putting my nephew in danger, who is two years old and should not have to deal with this shit. Like, I was getting people, I was getting her calling me all hours of the night. She was getting pissed and saying, let your daughter talk to me, 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 and she knew my family's names, reasons why on this when I talk about my family and stuff, I don't tell you their names because she even one time pretended to be one of my aunts. She even told my mom, she goes, I'm down the street in my nightgown waiting to go clubbing with your daughter and you won't even let her out of the house. You should be ashamed of yourself and da 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 da. And then she, once I got onto stick cam, which is the worst thing I ever did because it was a nightmare and I'm glad it's a chat room site that is gone now because it was full of pornography full full of hateful just people going way too far and not giving a shit it took me to go on blog tv which is like twitch but blog tv like they had twitch and blog tv that were exactly the same on blog tv you could sit there talk to your friends, whatever, on Twitch, you had to be playing a game to be on there. Now it's a little bit different, but back then it wasn't. And I basically was talking with my friends on call. He went live on Blog TV. My hater came about and we're like, God damn it, we're trying to hide from him. How do he find us? And I had it. I had it with him. And I just, he was just a little kid who was obsessed with Bieber and gay. So I was like, I said I had it, and I just started yelling at him and saying, leave me the hell alone. Why do you keep following me? I don't give two shits about you or what you're doing. You don't see me following you. Don't see me doing anything. Why are you tormenting and stalking me and following me? Every site I go to, you follow me. And he's like, because you're talking shit about me. And I said, I said, excuse me, so are you. You're talking shit about me too. And he goes, yeah, but you're in chat rooms, in open chat rooms where people can look saying shit about me. And I don't like that. And I said, well, you know what? If you stop talking about me, then I can stop talking about you. 
If you don't talk about me, then I have nothing to talk about, about you. I wouldn't have anything to say. Let's just say that after that day, never heard from him again till 10 plus years later when my Instagram is private. To get on my Instagram, I have to trust you. I have to know who you are. I've had to talk to you a lot, seen you on webcam, know you are legit of who you say you are. And I know you won't take my photos and post them all over the internet and share them with other people. So he tried to add me on Instagram thinking I was going to forget who he was, forget what he did to me, and just add him like a dumbass. Uh, I'm smart, not stupid. You can just stay on that that page where it's, it says request added friend because when you add somebody on a private account it lets you know and I even and I go he's probably reading my Twitter because I've tried changing my Twitter handler old one 50 million times and they would still find out what it is they used to have a thing on Twitter where if you block somebody and then unblock them it takes them off your follow list and then they forget that they're following you and then twitch stop or twitter stopped doing that which i don't know why and then i just said fuck it i'm just gonna make it a new make that one private make them think that that one's private and make a new one and I've been fine ever since, but if he is following, but I just make sure I watch what I do and say on that one. And if they did find that one, so that's why when he added me on Twitter or on Instagram, I said something on Twitter. I said in a post, I said something about your fault. I said, do you think I'm stupid? I know you're my hater. And I was like, I was like, this happened at over 10 years ago and you're still trying to f make my life a living hell and follow me it's private for a fucking reason you really think I'm gonna let you follow me after what you did to me think again and I left it as that and when I say such shit about somebody I don't ever out their name because then they because then nobody knows it's about them Except for the person that it's about. And I even did that with my ex-friend to get his attention that, hey, the shit you're doing, I'm not liking. Because every time I tried to tell him that in private, he wouldn't listen to me. And he would just say, well, if you're just going to be whining and bitching at me, I'm going to get off car. I'm not even going to listen. I was like, dude, how can we fix what's wrong with our friendship if you don't try and then he lets other people talk him into shit and then he does it it's so pathetic so if I never got on stick cam this probably wouldn't gotten resolved is what I'm saying because because of stick cam it got resolved and I figured out who did it because then she started showing her true colors and she would get in to my friend's chat room or my chat room when I'd go live and say all these tasteless, vogel, just unnecessary things. And I'm like, you talk. And I told her, I said, you talk just like my haters. You talk just like my stalker did on YouTube, trying to get me to stop being friends with people. Like they would follow me to the point they knew exactly what which videos I would be watching, when I would be commenting. She would be like making up lies about me to get that person to block me and not talk to me anymore. She even got one of my closest friends to like hate me. And, and he said, hey, I'm a busy man. I don't have time for this shit. Figure it out and get rid of her. And so, I didn't lose him as a friend, thank God, because if I did, I wouldn't, I would just be a mess. But anyways, 
And when MySpace was like, not listening to me, when I said, you're putting my nephew in danger by leaving this bitch on there, faking to be me and giving out my personal information like that. And we all know Justin Timberlake took over MySpace, which made it fucking miserable. But I straight up said, okay, I've mentioned you about a thousand times now, and you're not making MySpace safe. And if you do not delete this fake person that's trying to be me and my ex-boyfriend, then I'm sorry. MySpace is no longer safe for my family or for my nephew. And I don't want to put us in danger like you are putting us in danger by not doing as you're told. So I'm moving to Facebook. Once I said I'm moving to Facebook, what happened to the accounts? Gone. No longer there. I have two Facebooks. One is personal for family and friends that I went to school with or that I work with or that I see all the time. Stuff like that. If I met you online, guess what? You ain't getting on that personal one. You get on my other one that is for online friends only. And I will not hardly ever show any personal photos of my family, the outside of where I live, or my face. And if I do show my face, it's only to the people I know and trust and talk to all the time, every day, and saw them on video and know that they're for reals. And I've tested them. And I still have my name across my face because what my stalkers love to do is there's this bad which I'm not going to give the name out, but it's kind of like 4chan, if you know what 4chan is. And basically what they did was they found out my la real last name, my address, and my phone number, and posted it everywhere, even though I never, ever gave that information out. So how they found that out, I have no clue. And they were posting it on this bad website with photos of me, and they would edit the photos to make me look bad. Like, I have a favorite photo of my when I first got my hair done, where I would highlight it, cut it, layer it, stuff like that. It's a really good photo, but someone edited it to make it look really bad when I got big boobs. Even though my boobs are already big enough. They made them bigger. And then they did other stuff. And they would put them on these websites. And I would report them on these other websites. And they wouldn't do a damn thing to get rid of these pictures. And if you look under my old last YouTube name. Which I'm not giving you by the way. And if you know it, don't say it. And if you say it, you're blocked. Period. No questions asked. Nothing. You are just blocked. You don't just get your comment deleted, but you're blocked forever. And when I block, I block forever, and I don't unblock, and I never will unblock. So don't go to other social media saying, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, and I didn't think you'd really do it. Guess what? I did. And guess what? You can say sorry until, they, until pigs fly. I'm not going to unblock you. I don't unblock ever. Once you're blocked, you're blocked forever. You have to make a new account to talk to me. But, uh, anyways, so I would basically, so they basically did all that and I, and they would even share links to like my playlist and links to my Facebook, or Facebook, links to my YouTube videos, they would screen cap my YouTube videos of my face in a bad position and share it all over and laugh about it. They even one time took one of my videos, edited it to make it seem like I said shit that I didn't say and post it on a fake YouTube channel saying that that YouTube channel is me. All they did was change a couple of letters into numbers so you couldn't tell. 
now these days you can have the exact same name as somebody and it's very freaky freaky they shouldn't allow that and I would report it several times to YouTube and they wouldn't do anything about it and I was getting so frustrated that I just private all my videos made one last video screaming and hollering saying how dare you do this to me that fucking video is not mine I did not edit it to make it seem like I said those things they did I was talking about a show that was on the inn which is now not Nick at Night um Teen, the Teen Nick that's what it's called now I think and it it had something to do with Queen Bee. Well, these girls thought they were all that and wouldn't let ugly people go with her to the clubs or something like that. And she made it seem like I was calling people ugly and, and only ugly people can go to the clubs with me and just made me look like a horrible human being. And then they would tell me, you don't know how to sing Umbop from Hanson. Well, I'm a Hanson fan and I know how to sing Umbop. Because they were on Oprah teaching us out. Doi! And just made me not want to do videos. So I just private them. All the videos with my face on them. Half All my videos got private. I said I quit YouTube. Thanks a lot. It's because of you. I quit YouTube. And then I left. And then it took my friend and I just messing around with stick him because he knew HTML and he says, hey, let's put your name upside down and see what it looks like. And it came up with Ycats. So that's how we got the name Ycats. And so I was like, oh, that'd be a cool name for you two. Ycats Vlogs. And my haters wouldn't even know that I'm White Cats because it has nothing to do with my past, with that name, and I never would go on this channel and talk about my past. I would never go on this channel. I mean, I would talk about the past, but not like why well, give out the name I had, stuff like that. And I wouldn't follow that channel, connect it with that channel, nothing with that channel in old videos that I had for that channel I would repost on this channel but take out the name and that's when I decided well I don't want people print screen me and putting me all over the internet because if my mom finds out that I've been doing this she would be freaking out because she told me she never wanted me to do this and I would put my name across my face so that you guys, so that people can't print screen me, put me all over the internet, or edit my video, or edit the print screen photo, or photos of me, and print screen them, and like, edit them, they couldn't, you know, and plus people would know who I was, and someone couldn't use my face as a catfish face, and pretend that they're me, or make a fake website, or YouTube channel and say that they're me. Now you can't really make fake YouTube channels because I tried to make a new YouTube channel because I wanted to do vlog channel on my vlog channel. I wanted it to be where I talk about um, cooking, my cooking videos, my cleaning hours, just regular shopping vlogs stuff like that and then I wanted to make another channel where it was just for movies um TV shows I just got done watching this episode this is my take on it Big Brother you know stuff like that and it asked me to verify the account you can't do it through email anymore you have to do it through a text on a cell phone and I was like well fuck that I'm not going through all that trouble to do all that get another email get a because to get another email you have to give out a phone number 
on Yahoo now. You can't just get another email. So how these trolls do that just doesn't make sense. So I just do it all on this channel and I used to have a backup channel that I would do it on with a different name that didn't that my haters knew about kind of sort of but not really because it never tied into my other account and I never put my face on that channel ever and I would do reviews all this stuff because now the reason why I was scared to do reviews on this channel of movies is because a long time ago I had the name Stacy Hansen as a YouTube name which I'm kinda glad I don't have that as a name anymore because that's just stupid and it got me to really come up with a name for myself and got me to come up with a really good name and then this other name so I basically would I posted a review of the movie 17 again with Zach Eflot I was and I've talked about this in other videos I'll be over there in the kitchen right over there and I would just sit there talk about the movie not give any spoilers not give any clips of the movie nothing just tell them the basics and a company that owns it apparently flagged it in YouTube at the time they would get so many flag videos that they just couldn't watch them all that would take them forever so they would just say oh this video is flagged okay delete that's it we're just going to suspend our whole account and banner without even looking at the videos first hearing hearing our take on it giving us a warning giving us a take on it because I found out that this same company was doing it to other people they would have skating videos or videos where they'd be skating down the their stairs or something and it would be flagged for copyright when it had nothing to do with that company that company was flagging a bunch of channels just because they didn't like their videos or thought their videos was too dangerous to be on the internet and that's not right that that was not right that was not cool they shouldn't have been doing that and we bitched complained about it and got our way of course and YouTube changed their policy to now where they have people that watch a few seconds of their videos or they have a robotic Autobot that catches certain words or certain phrases or certain things and flag it to give and then gives you a warning and say this is copyrighted change it or else get this or they say if you're a partner on YouTube this video cannot be monetized you're not going to make money off this video because you have copyrighted information in this video if you want to get monetized you're going to have to take these clips out and they show you which clips that they're talking about and half the time you can actually fight it and go the how are these copyrighted clips when one you can't even hear the song in the background at the store second of all how do you know the song's title when you can't even he hardly hear it and second of all how is it copyrighted when it's not the whole fucking song nobody's gonna come to my video and download my video for free and just clip that little section of music while I'm talking over the music and wanna keep that something to listen to nobody and then they and then they started getting me for copyrighted like if I showed the TV screen with 
no sound whatsoever. It's me talking over this, over what I'm showing. And they're like, that's copyright. You have no right to show that. Just because it's a scene in a movie that I'm talking about. And I'm like, and I even have to fight that and say, um, this is not copyrighted information. Because nobody's going to be like, ooh, a free movie. I'm going to download this. No, because it's not the whole movie. It's just a clip of it. And you can't hear a word they're saying. So I'm not going to give two shit. And then they're like, yeah, you're right, and they lift it. Well, now people are having trouble with this whole just for kids. They think Hanson is just for kids. So sometimes when I go to a Hanson video to put it in a playlist that, or to comment, not allowed to comment. And if you're under the age of 18, your comments are shut off until you're over 18. What happened to, you can't be on this site until you're 13 and up. Shouldn't that mean comments should be up too? And then they make it where you can't turn on notifications on videos. Unless you're around that, unless you're a kid. And if you're an adult, then no. And it's like, not just kids like this shit, adults like it too. And most times, the adults have the accounts for their kids. Because their kids can't work the computer yet. And they need a... But there is a way you can see those videos. I mean, put those videos on your playlist. You just can't do it through your subscription list. You basically copy... Um, Highlight and copy the title, the whole title. Put that in the search engine. That video will come up. When you hover your mouse over the video, these three dots come up over on the right side. You click on that and you say playlist and bada bing bada boom. They haven't taken that part away. Or you can go on the, sometimes you can go on the channel and do it, but sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. So, you know, you get lucky. And it shows up on the playlist. But there's no other way to get notifications on if they have a new video out. Like with Jojo Siwa. Hers, it, you can't even put, you can't even click the bell to get notifications. So you don't know when she has new videos out. And so she has to go on her freaking Instagram or, and her Twitter and be like, and TikTok and be like, hey, I got a new video out. Link in the bio. Go check it out. But you have to be glued to those websites to get notifications that she has a notification of her YouTube channel. You know, and it's, it's so stupid. They need to change that and stop this just my kids bullshit and let the parents choose what they want to show their kids and whatnot. And if someone you know, is lying in the, um, just for kids thing. Like, if you want videos just for kids, then make a just for kids YouTube website and leave this one to the adults. If, if, let's say someone says this video is just for kids and yet you're watching it, have certain keywords for the Autobot and if they you know and then they were like censoring us on you can't say this or that or if you say it, you get monetized blah 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 and like my friend says I'm not saying these words because I because now I heard that if you say these words you're getting banned off of YouTube just like that and He's not on YouTube. He's on Twitch. And he's like, I'm not saying it on Twitch either because I don't want to get banned on Twitch. Twitch doesn't give two shits about you. I'm not trying to be rude, bestie. But you're not a popular channel, so Twitch ain't going to give two shits about you. If you're a popular channel, maybe Twitch would care. You can play copyrighted music. You're worried about, well, if I play copyrighted music, then when... 
my live stream is over with and there's just a bot, then they're going to mute that section. So fucking what? If they mute that section. Who the fuck goes back and watches the VODs? Nobody. And if it's that big a video, clip it. Well, now I heard that even if you clip the copyrighted music, they will mute the clip too. Who are you getting this research, this information from because they're wrong? They're not going to do that. Especially to somebody that gets one person or maybe five people in their goddamn live stream. You can say coronavirus. You can say COVID-19. And they're not going to ban you for it. Suspend your account for it. Delete your video for it. Or tell you you can't post it. They're just going to say mm, you don't make money off this video. Which I think is stupid. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you guys later. Sorry this video is so long. Hopefully you guys watch the whole thing. And you understand where I'm coming from with this whole how I got stalked on YouTube bullshit. If you have any other questions, please comment them in the description. Or in the description. Please comment them in the comment section. And I will try and answer them. And I'll try to make another video answering them as well like a Q&A video and another thing that pisses me off before I go is when people ask when youtubers ask people to do stuff in the comments everybody does it everybody comments how do they get lots of people commenting and yet I ask you guys who are watching me to please comment I have over 300 of you subscribed to me but only two or three of you comment and watch my videos I don't get it and you guys don't comment when I ask you to about certain things. And when I bitch about it, then you guys say, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. If you have time to read my posts or watch this video and to like it, then you have time to comment. It only takes two seconds. Or they say, I didn't know what to comment. Or just comment, hey, great video. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me how I can improve it. Stuff like that. I just... I like to get comments because I like to talk to my fans. There's a lot of YouTubers out there who are popular who get so many comments that they just don't answer anybody they don't comment nobody that's why they do q and a's and they don't interact with them but me i do anyways make sure you wear a mask and save a life later